So today I wanna to talk to you about using Zelle for your business. Now, as a business owner myself, I've actually been using Zelle for my business and you might have some questions and hopefully this will answer some of those for you. Also wanna kinda of take you on their website to show you some of the Q&A that they have as well as actually show you on my phone with our Zelle and the bank that we're currently using and how it kinda of functions on that back end. Now, depending on your kind of business, you obviously want to continue to do more research, but hopefully this will help you out to get better understanding of Zelle. Now, if you don't know Zelle at all or never use it in like a one-to-one -one for like a personal usage, uh, essentially you could be sending money from one bank to another almost instantaneously at zero cost for you. Now, that's really for the person-to-person, uh, -person, like friends and family members. There are some potentials where depending on your bank, if they have Zelle available, that they might charge a fee for people to send you money. Now, what's really cool is the bank that we currently use doesn't charge us anything on our end for customers to send us money. So we are saving a lot of money on credit card processing if people are using Zelle. And the really nice thing is a lot of our customers enjoy helping us save money by sending us through Zelle versus other methods. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually hop over here on the computer so you can kind of see here, this is on Zelle's actual website. Now, Zelle is kind of a combination of a couple, a, a lot of different banks kind of coming together to be able to make this functionally work. So it's not like an individual company, it's like conglomerate of a whole bunch of them. So you can see some of the Q and A's of like, how do I uh, know if a small business uh, or customer can pay with Zelle? The biggest thing is the bank has to have that functionality available. So if your bank doesn't offer Zelle, there's a high probability that the actual, you know, functionality is not going to work. So, you know, make sure if you are opening up a business bank account that Zelle is going to be there for you if you're interested in using this. Uh, it does say, can I use Zelle for my small business if my bank doesn't offer it? Like we just talked about, it says not at this time. Uh, is there a limit to the amount of money? that I can send and receive from Zelle. And that is also gonna depend on the financial institution. So keep that in mind. And it says, I use Zelle uh, for free as a customer. Is there a fee to use Zelle as a small business? And again, this will also depend like we just talked about because it really does functionally work differently for every company. But uh, at the end of the day, it's really all the same. You're either gonna have connected with your email address or your phone number from your company so people can uh, plug that information in and send the money to you. Now, the nice thing is it'll tell them which company it is that they're sending it to and verifying it for them. So some people might be a little weary on this because there's less protection than if they use like a credit card. So, you know, keep them comfortable by being able to show that it actually has your company name and using the phone number that people can call you in from your company. Now, let's go ahead and hop over. I'm gonna switch over to my screen here to my phone. So you're gonna be able to see this in real time. This is actually our uh, Zelle setting from PNC Bank. That's who we use for one of our businesses. Um, we actually use Novo, uh, which is another business account that doesn't have Zelle currently. Hopefully they do in the future. But this uh, PNC Bank is for our retail business. Um, you can see the QR code there if you wanna send us a little bit of a thank you for doing this video, you're welcome to. Uh, helps us out as well too. But you can see over here, um, currently these are the QR codes so we can actually print them out and and have them around the uh, the store if people want to just pay that way or we can again just tell them our phone number or email address that we have on file you can manage your uh, your mobile phone on here the email and also the bank account that it's linked to so we have multiple checking accounts on this PNC bank so we can have it go to whichever one we want preferably we have an income one so that way the money goes directly there now again this is all gonna be dependent on each person we've actually sent money to people through Zelle as well if we had to do like a refund or even paying ourselves as business owners because um, we have our other personal bank account which is also a Zelle so we get to send money from our business account through Zelle to our personal account too which is a really cool feature that you can have so you don't have to wait days for that money to get transferred over so from right over here, you can see our Zelle activity. You can see all the different information that they provide for us, the customer, uh, their actual account that the money is going into, and then the confirmation. And if there's a memo, which we always encourage our uh, customers to do, so that way we have a little bit of extra information on why they're sending us that money. They have the dates on there, and they also have, the, of course, the total amounts as well. And then you can see towards the bottom area over there, you can see one that says sent. This is where we sent money. Uh, this was actually to our own personal account as well. Like I mentioned, you can also do that as well, or you can send money back to a customer if for some reason you had to do a refund of any sorts, and they have Zelle available as an option for a refund. 
So on our main page here with Zelle from the PNC bank that we use is gonna look like this. And everybody's is, by the way, going to be quite different based off the bank that you're using. But for us, we have a send and a request feature. We also even have a split feature as well too, which is really cool. So whichever way we need to go, if we need to request it, if the customer feels more inclined to receive that request versus just sending the money, we can go that route as well. But of course, what you're gonna wanna do is check with your business bank and see if they offer Zelle. And then again, it might cost you a little bit or it might be completely free like it is for us with PNC Bank, which I'm absolutely excited for because it, again, it is saving us a lot of money versus receiving that money through a credit card reader and paying all those extra fees, of course. Now, I want you to keep on learning and growing when it comes to managing your small business. So I want you to check out my next video right over here. My name is Dennis and I'll see you in that next video.